actually cook your chicken stew because ain't nobody playing with salmonella guys salmonella is real hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'm coming at you with a new video guys we in the kitchen it's not a mukbang but it's a cooking video so today we're gonna try and make some chicken fried rice I love Chinese food so this is like perfect um, I am following a recipe because I do not have one of my own yet but I'll be changing things around like I'll be experimenting so we'll see whether this experiment was a part of a film yeah Let's get into this video! I'm so excited to do this. I've actually missed cooking. I haven't cooked for a while. So yeah, let's do this. Please remember to like and subscribe and join the journey. So what we got here guys, the ingredients. We've got some peas, some carrots that are cut into blocks. Chicken, I took one chicken breast. This is half an onion, some garlic and some spring onion rice. I used basmati rice. The recipe says jasmine, but I like basmati rice. Pepper, salt, soy sauce, and some olive oil. So yeah, let's get into this video. So we're gonna be cooking in this pan. It's a electric pan. Let's see how it goes. And what you start off with, I'll tell you right now. First we have to put some, I'm not using butter, I'm using olive oil. Put some olive oil into the pan, turn this on, put some olive oil into it and we're cooking the chicken first. Guys, olive oil is just beautiful, deliciousness. Like, we don't deserve olive oil. Like, that's actual truth. We don't deserve it. So the olive oil is heated, it's very hot, very very hot, let turn this pan back on again. I want to get another light, okay? Hi. <laughs> so I'm going to add in my chicken, add chicken and then salt and pepper, okay? Pepper. Chicken stew because ain't nobody playing with salmonella, guys. Salmonella is real. I actually had food poisoning once. That was a, it was a tough time, guys. It was a tough time. When, um, okay, I'll come back and tell you when I had food poisoning and how it happened. I washed out the bowl because I want to take it out and put it back into a bowl. Um, make sure if you're cooking, you can't put raw cooked chicken into a raw, raw chicken slash bowl or whatever because another way to get salmonella. It's almost done, it's almost done. So 
so this pot has this pot has a hot spot in the middle in the middle where the element is. So what's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? Um next, put it on a clean plate and set aside. Add another bit of olive oil. Some more olive oil guys. Told you we don't deserve olive oil. and the carrots and the peas all together. So, let's put this. I might have to add a little bit of liquid, some water or something, because um, the carrots need to cook. You turn down my fan if it's really too hot. Lunch was the Sunday. We had my husband, but we had lunch, and she made calamari. But I don't think like either the calamari wasn't okay, one, or it wasn't cooked through. It was more than so I ended up having some real food poisoning, and that was just it was not fun. I got what do you think of? Guys, I don't 
I've got my spring onion. I already washed this. So I'm gonna scoop the spring onion off of here. I'm gonna put my spring onion in. Cook with the garlic. Just turn this on in. Let me know if you want me to make more cooking videos and what I should make because I'll go out my way to find a way what to make. So this garlic is like garlic and ginger and onions is the key to like any food that you like. What smells so nice? Make there's always garlic, always and always ginger. So you're supposed to put eggs in to stir fry rice, but I can't do that because my brother is allergic to eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip that step and just add the rice. So you're supposed to pre-cook this rice and then mix this all together. Oh, my friend already. So they say tablespoons. I inserted two teaspoons of soy sauce. And now add the chicken back in. Never leave stuff open. Don't, don't follow my example completely. Don't leave this stuff open. It could fall out and then it's a mess. Okay, and this is now supposed to fry. So to make sure that the rice doesn't burn, I'm going to be constantly stirring, moving it around because I really don't want my rice to burn or stick. And like this hot spot is already trying to be like, can you burn all your food? Cheaper proteins, a cheaper protein, like it's a cheaper protein. So this is actually like a balanced meal if you think about it. You've got your carbohydrates, you've got your you've got your carbohydrates, you've got your protein, you've got your veg. So I would actually say, like if you're a student, this is pretty much 
one of the easier meals that you can make and like look there it's barely been half an hour it's like a meal that you can have in a really fast time Chicken is cooked through very nicely. And it's still soft and it's seasoned very nice. Guys, this recipe is actually good. Um, I'll leave my version in the comments as long as the link that I have for this particular recipe. If you want to go the extra mile and add the eggs. So yeah, this is actually really good. Um, I'm going to dish up and then we can feast. So guys, this is a completed meal. Some chopsticks. I put chopsticks in as if I eat with chopsticks. I don't. Um, yeah, and then these little fish bowls that we got from Mervyn Gus. So yeah, I'm so excited about this meal. I think it Thank you guys so much nicely. for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please tag me in pictures on Instagram at Nina Rose Clark if you decide to make this. And please remember to like and subscribe at the same time. And yeah, I hope you guys join me for my next video. Bye!